Hey guys, it's Fiscon here. I'm going to teach you guys how to install Ubuntu Studio 18.10 and the idea behind this video is I'm going to show you how to install it and then I'm going to edit all the video on Studio on my laptop and see how I like it. And so uh, we're going to get started right into it and tend to be a short, short little video here. So the first thing you need to do is go to the website ubuntustudio.org, download, and you can download direct from the website but I promise you that will take forever. The other option is to torrent it, like everyone else does. Uh, I got my I got myself a nice little uh, torrenting software here, Q Bit Torrent, real fast, real smooth. Uh, go ahead and download your file. I've already downloaded it. So once you have it downloaded, you're going to need something to boot from. You can use a CD, but in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it from a USB one because it's easy to recycle and two. I don't have any DVDs capable of holding the size needed, which is 2.9 gigs, I believe, is the size of the file. So the software that I use to put this onto a bootable USB is UNet Bootin. So it's it's pretty simple. All you do is you go here, you download for Windows or Linux or Mac, whatever you want to use. And once you have it downloaded, you go ahead and run it. You go ahead and run the software, and once you're running, you're going to go from distribution to disk image because we have the file. I haven't messed with any of this, but it looks like you can install any of these prefabricated. Like if we go down to Ubuntu, we can select a version. So that's pretty neat. It's got it all pre set up there. Unfortunately, Studio isn't available there, so we have to do it from disk image, anyways but that doesn't matter. Still pretty easy to do. You can go to your install location, select the file, and then this is where you select your USB drive. So in my case, my USB drive is going to be F. And then once you've got it selected, you just hit OK. Uh, because I did this in the past, this popped up. It uh, shouldn't pop up for you. But anyways, you just uh, go ahead and start. I'm going to pause here because it took me a while. So uh, see you in a minute. Alright, and we're back, and just a heads up, if you're watching the video and the download or install hasn't completed, I'm telling you now, it's going to take a minute. It, it will take a while, so I would use that time you have while it's installing to watch the rest of the video to see what this entails, and I'm pretty sure the video will be done before the install will be done. If not, let me know in the comments. Alright, the next thing you're going to do is hit exit, and you're good there. You don't really need this stuff anymore. You can uninstall Qubit Torrent, and the reason I recommend this is solely because it has no ads. Uh, as you can see, there's no ads. It's phenomenal. That's the only reason I like that one. But uh, moving on, sorry for the sidetrack. All you do is, of course, safely eject your USB because that's how we always do it. Am I right? And then once you do that, we're going to move to the camera. So give me just a moment. Alright guys, we're over here at the computer and as you can see we've got our new boot right here on the USB and I plug it in you'll see the computer register right there. You know, we got it and it's hard to see for you guys but that's okay, this is not the important part. We're going to go ahead and restart. And then once we restart we're going to get into the boot manager and the intent here is to boot from a flash drive. Alright, F12 for me. Alright, here we are. This is the F12 menu. And once you're here, all you're going to do is select the USB. You know, this will vary from computer to computer, and I, I won't go into that. You will have to research that part on your own. Generally, you're going to know how to do it if you're going to want to get into Linux anyway. So, I have faith in you guys. Now, this is my personal suggestion. You should just go straight into Try Ubuntu without installing. Uh, if you can't see it on the camera, there's four options. The first one is try Ubuntu, install Ubuntu, OEM install, and check this for defects. Uh, just try it out. Well, it, it runs it like you have it installed. You don't install it. And when you want to install it, it has the installer on the desktop it loads up. So we're going to go ahead and get started with that. It's going to take a minute. It's 
kind of like a demo at a store, right? You gotta see it before you destroy your computer on accident. Trying to install it improperly. And there you go. You have Ubuntu loaded up on your desktop. Oopsies. And uh, in the bottom left corner, it's going to say install Ubuntu. And all you do is you double click this installer right here. It's going to load up the questionnaire. You know, it's going to tell you what to do next. Continue, yada, yada, yada. You know, the general gist of things. Let's see if I can get a better image on this. This is a money shot. This is what we want. And I'm not going to go through the whole thing because I already have installed it. But as you can see, English, continue. Yes, that specific type of English for my keyboard. Uh, you'll select an internet connection. You'll configure whether you want third-party software. Uh, I suggest you do it. I did it, um, but it requires you to make a password when you do it, which is easy peasy. And then you'll just hit continue. And then you select what packages you want. I'm not familiar with all of them. Um, that's why I'm installing it. Actually, I'm really curious about how well this platform performs with all of them. You know, I'm used to Blender. I'm used to GIMP. I'm used to some of those programs. But uh, I'm curious about the video package right down here. You know, I haven't used Audacity. I have no idea what this burning application is. Whew, I can't wait to edit this video. Anyways, you just select them all and you hit continue. And then this is the last one before you hit install now, which of course I'm not going to hit. And once you hit install now, you don't need a tutorial for the rest of the part because it's easy peasy. All right. Meet one more time.